All right, everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us here. Um, this morning, there's a couple different things I wanted to go over. And on this uh, beautiful day outside, I wanted to start us off kind of with a old, old school meeting that we did, which we used to do the wins of the day. So, Uncle Tim, do you want to, you know, kick us off with, with the wins? Sure. <clears throat> You said beautiful day outside? Yeah, I was being a little <laughs> facetious. Well, one thing's for sure. We certainly had a beautiful weekend last week. And Penn State won, so that's a good win. But um, let's uh, let's start off with uh, Mr. Bob Stevens. Do you have a win of the day from last week? Anything good happen in your life, sir? Sure. My, grunds, my grandson scored his first touchdown in football as a that's junior a in high school. So uh -huh. he's over the moon on that one. And uh, then I got to meet a FISBO that I sold uh, over in, um, oh shoot, off of Lisbon Road in any event. I think I made a, a client out of him uh, because he's got some family members that want to uh, sell. So uh, uh, he, he likes to sell his own properties, but he likes to use a realtor when he's buying. So that, that We'll see where that goes, but I liked it. Good. Well, congratulations on working a FISBO. You know, that's one of the things that, that is important that we're still sending out the for sale by owners and expireds every day. And, you know, as the market tightens up here a little bit with the interest rates, we got to dig in a little bit harder. So if you don't have a buyer to work with today and you don't have a listing appointment to work with today, Start calling the FISBOs, start calling the expireds, start calling your old Zillow leads. I don't care if they're a year old, call them up. <clears throat> you know, hey, it's Tim Costello with Remax. A while back you were on Zillow. You know, I was just curious, he's still in the market to buy a house. They're easy calls to make. Back to basics, start making those calls. But thanks for bringing up the FISBOs. Um, how about <clears throat> Alyssa? getting started in the business and working hard. And you did a client um, appreciation thing at your high school. Why don't you tell us about uh, how that went and what you did? Yeah, it went really well. So it was two Fridays ago. Um, I went to my old high school that I graduated from in 2018 and I sponsored the Susquehanna band there. Um, I sponsored their food for the night and I set up a table and just kind of reached out to everyone that was there. Um, I did a little raffle drawing thing to try to get people to fill out their information and get their contact information. So I've been leading up with them. Um, the event went really well. Um, they announced my name and everything there. And overall, just everything has been going very good so far, just reaching out to people and just getting my name out there. And yeah. Yep. So Alyssa held this function at the football game, had the Remax banner on the table so that everybody could see she was with Remax and she put herself out there. And that's a huge win to put yourself out there in the public to let them know that you're in the business and, and looking for business and uh, you're not a secret agent. So congratulations on that. To me, that's a great win. Yep. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mr. John Hogan, um, I know you've been busy working hard uh, and I know you had a big win here recently, I think. Um, tell us about your win on your deal. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one you're you're referring to, but uh, yeah, I did have a I did have a listing go under contract over the weekend, and um, I picked up a new buyer over the weekend as well at another listing of mine that I didn't sell, but I was able to pick up the buyer and hopefully get them in the direction of a, another property. Right, but didn't you just have one that was north of a million yeah yes that, that one under contract so yeah yeah that was um that was a tough one so yeah but you got it right yeah i mean we're not at the finish line yet you know how it is but um yeah. you know we we're going in the right direction for sure but i appreciate it yep so you know uh, congratulations to you on having something north of a million i know shelly if you want to take yourself off me you recently had one over a million dollars too and you have a win that you're you're with that same buyer getting ready to to almost sell them a commercial unit that's north of two million, right? Right. Yes. 
Yes, I just signed some papers yesterday <laughs> for that yeah. one. So we're we're working on them. And the yeah. um, one at uh, just a little over a million, that's to settle Monday. Monday. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. And then we want to see you get that one for $2 million the, because the strip it, mall. it's very exciting to have deals in that yeah. price range. Yeah. That one's uh, probably February. Okay. But, so <laughs> yep. but I'm excited about it. Yeah. Going well. Good. Any other wins that you'd like to tell us about things that are going good in your life with regards to business? Yeah. Um, Friday, I had a client call me that I hadn't talked. Well, I've talked to him, but hadn't done business with him for years. Called on Friday and said, I want to buy a house. Um, there was a family that was in need of a place to live and he has cash. And so last night we put him under contract. Good. So okay. That one settles the 9th of November. So now this family with seven people in it will have a place to live. Yep. You're back in momentum, aren't you, Shelly? I am. I have another listing appointment tomorrow that an attorney, I have, some, I have two attorneys that really work well with me. So I have uh -huh. a listing appointment with them tomorrow for another listing. Good. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm proud Thank of you. you. Yep. Thank yep. you. Mr. Dave White, anything good happening with you and Patty with regards to business that you want to share with the group? Well, we have a listing coming up over in Edders that uh, we'll get the paperwork signed on probably today and uh, working with a couple buyers, uh, one that uh, uh, has to has to buy. And uh, so, yeah, and uh, making the contacts and uh, calling more FISBAs as well. So I agree with you. I appreciate what your uh, encouragement on calling FISBAs and expireds. Yep, the expireds are going to pick up too again. As, exactly. As, yep. Um, the listing in Edders, is it a single family, a townhouse? It's a single family. Um, it's over, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember the name of that little HOA over there, but uh, uh, on, on uh, South Ben Hogan in that okay. area. Good. Congratulations on that. That should sell. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Stacy Horton, uh, if you can unmute yourself. Hi. Good. How are you? Good. Good. You've been with us now a couple of weeks. Just wanted to know if you got any wins that you could share with the group of good experiences that you're having with the, with your business right now. Uh, I listed a farm that my husband and I have, um, and I've gotten some interest on that. Um, so we're excited to see where that goes. Uh, some of the interest is if we would subdivide it. So we're trying to figure out, you know, what's best time frame wise and financially for that. If it's better, you know, to try to just sell it for one big chunk or, or kind of subdivide it. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, we just got back, we were away for our anniversary. So we just got back yesterday. So now I'm trying to catch up with everything. Right. Well, congratulations on the anniversary. And, you know, if you need Thank to you. run anything by me in reference to the farm, I'd be happy to talk to you. Great. Thank you. Yep. Sounds good. <clears throat> Mr. Connor Anderson, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. You've been with us now a couple of weeks, too. I know you're doing some hard training with Kong and everything. Do you have a win for us as far as your excitement and in getting into the real estate business? Um, no, like real listings or anything like that, but um, I'm getting uh, door hangers in in the next couple of days and I'm going to be going around my neighborhood. There's I live over by Central Dolphin Middle School and there's a bunch of houses, those brick homes um, that I'll be going knocking on doors and talking and trying to get my name out. So I'm excited to go um over there and get started on that Good. um but just like i've been meeting with kong on tuesdays and thursdays those have been going well and um we've been also doing some role playing for like the fizbos and that and that's also going well so building some confidence on that and hopefully gonna start making calls on those okay good congratulations and welcome yep. any help we can give you let us know thank yeah. you so Kong, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the training that you're doing in case anybody wants to uh, get involved with uh, you know, the training with regards to 
new agents and the training that you're doing with regards to the contract? Sure. The training's for really everybody. It's not just new agents, but uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 8.30 here in the office, uh, we have a group that role play the Mike Ferry script. They'll do the FISBO, expires, just listed, just sold um, scripts, and uh, they're learning the scripts so that they know what to say on the phone, okay, and how, how to handle certain situations and objections, uh, because the FISBOs and the expireds, the FISBOs are not going to sell anymore, okay, they were selling by themselves, um, during this hot market, but now they're going to slow down. So they're going to need our help and our expertise in the marketplace. The expireds are starting to occur because they were overpriced. Uh, typically, that's why expired listings don't sell is because of the price. So you have to know what to say to these expired listings to try to get them to beat the market uh, and not just sit stale there for another six months. The Tuesday and Thursday, at 2 p.m., we're gonna start doing the forms. Um, we're starting over with the contract again. If you remember over the summer, we did the contract and then two weeks after that, they changed it again. Uh, a very important part of the contract, the mortgage contingency was changed. So we're gonna go through that again. Um, we're gonna go turbo this time and do two sessions a week um, and try to get it done in less than a month instead of uh, two months. So. Um, 2 p.m. Zoom, I sent out the info. I'll send out notes for today um, a little later and uh, always welcome to join. Yep, and for those that have typically worked with our contract but have never really read our contract, we are reading it line by line and going over what each paragraph means. So thank you for doing that again, Kong, and uh, hopefully we can get some good participation. Are we recording that too, that if somebody does it make yep. you able to send that out and put it on yep. our YouTube channel? Yep, I need to send it out to uh, to Brooks so he can send it out to everybody too from okay, last week. Good. Yeah, let's make sure we do that. Awesome. Yep. Um, Sharon Fury, any uh, wins that you'd like to tell us about in the Chambersburg market? Sorry, it was a struggle to unmute there. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we are just really honing down on how to prepare prepare for 23. We had a great team meeting yesterday that really had us pumped up. And I also had a good conversation with Poppy that just kind of fueled my fire. Um, but I've had a really good um, end of the summer. And I'm just trying to carry that into this last quarter here. I have a real distinct goal that I want to hit. And I just missed it last year. So I am really um, looking at my people that I haven't talked to in a long time, going back on those Zillow calls, um, just going through our database and trying to reconnect with some of those clients to, to finish the year strong. Yep, good, good thinking. And that, that's why I was saying, and I brought that up about the Zillows. You know, <clears throat> there were a lot of people that inquired on Zillow in the last year and a lot of people that didn't get houses. So regardless of how old those calls are, simply make the call and introduce yourself and ask them if they're still in the market to buy a house. It's a real simple call. It's a lot easier than a FISBO or an expired. Dad, did you have something you wanted to say? Uh, oh, keep going. Okay. I'm Good. in later. I'm sorry. All right. All right. No mm -hmm. problem. Um, mm -hmm. Is Kyra still here on the call? No. Nope. How about Donna Denny? Donna, what's new with you? and tell us something good that's been happening in your life with regards to real estate. Um, everything's been going pretty good. Um, I got one of my listings under contract on Friday. Um, so I've been helping those sellers find something. Um, Kara has been really helpful since I joined her group. Um, basically just been trying, yeah. going back to my old realtor.com leads, reaching out to them, um, seeing if they're still in the market to, um, buy, um, yeah, basically that's it. Okay. Well, one, I'm glad you brought that up about with one of your listings going under contract. One of the things that Brooks and I wanted to talk to today is <clears throat> now 
that the market has cooled off a little bit. Obviously, things are still selling. But what we have to do is we have to really pay attention to these timelines again. Because for the last year or so, there weren't a whole lot of home inspections. There weren't a whole lot of things that we had to worry about with timelines. So it's, it's one of those items that when you get that sale and you are looking at your contract and you write your processing sheet up, make note of when your 10 or 15 days are up on this, these dates for your timelines and make sure you're staying in touch with the other agent. Again, we're supposed to cooperate with each other. So we wanna make sure that everybody's working to get the inspections done on time, the reply to inspections back on time and the response from the seller back on time. So uh, please stay aware of those dates and uh, congratulations on your listing going under contract. Thank you. And, and Tim, real quick, that was one of the things we went over on Thursday the timeline and when it starts the first page of the contract, I believe, uh, or I'm sorry, the second page of the contract after the cover letter page clearly states that the timeline starts the next day. So if it's executed today, day one is tomorrow yep. and so forth. Good. Sounds good. And Mr. Brent Ledick and Mr. Andrew, I know Andrew has a win. Andrew, would you like to tell the group about your win? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I was able to go under contract on a home of my own. Uh, we've been living in Carlisle uh, since we moved back here last year from overseas. And so, uh, yeah, able to go into contract on a home in Mechanicsburg. Um, so it'll be closer to the office, closer to the church, closer to everything. So it'll be, it'll be great. So that's a win personally. And even just, yeah, going through the motions uh, from this side of things. Um, yep. Congratulations on that. Yep. Yeah. And Brent, um, what's happening with the rental company? Do you see the market still busy as far as when you put something up for lease, they're leasing right away? They are. Um, you know, obviously with with the sales market softening or slowing down a little bit and the interest rates, people are maybe, we see, I say backing off from buying. So they're saying, you know, we're just going to wait to buy. So instead we're going to rent until um, it the market comes back. So it's just forcing even that many more people into the rental market, which is, which is fantastic. Yep. And for just remember too, for all those people over the last several years that um, got a really low interest rate, let's say in the two or threes, even the fours. And if they decide um, they want to buy a new house, some of those people aren't going to sell their home because of the low interest rate. And they might turn those into a rental or an investment property for themselves versus cashing out. So just remember that that, that could happen. You, your clients might decide not to sell their home. And if they do decide to keep it and they want to rent it, you can certainly refer it to our rental company and we'll manage it for you. And then if they decide to sell, you get the listing back, right, Brent? Yes, yep, yep. it's still your client. Yep, yep. still your client. helping you in the interim. Yep, okay, good. Um, Mr. Bill Anderson, welcome back from the NASCAR race. Yeah, I got to go to that over the weekend. Uh, my youngest son, it's sort of sort of genial like this. It's how people meet people. Uh, he was actually up at the Lake of the Ozarks one summer, and a guy's boat broke down. So he helped this guy with his boat. So this guy, uh, he's a manager for drivers. In other words, he get, puts their contracts together and everything like that. And they became friends and, you know, Eric gave him a call. He said, sure, just come on up, we'll get you a pass. So we had basically had an all access pass. We could have been on the hit box, whatever. So it was warm, we had a good time. The flight was a bit coming back, but uh, other than that, everything was good. Uh, I did get a clear to close for this week on a, a uh, sale which is good and Kong help, uh, helped us on a deal that had multiple offers and Sherry had also written an offer on her own uh, listing. So that was multiple offers and it went 20 over. So there's still some of that out there. Good. Uh, and it was priced right, you know, for the condition and everything. Um, so it's, it's still, 
oh, Connor got to see that too and helped out. So Connor was witness to that, how that worked. So, now, was did, was that a financed deal 20 over or was it a cash offer? It was financed. Okay. But, okay, but so they had some cash they could bring to the table. They had, you know- 20,000 appraisal gap. Appraisal gap of 20K, so. Okay, good. So Tim, real yeah. quick, here, here's a perfect example of pricing it right or pricing it below. Sherry and Bill listed this house, what was it? Sherry, 287 or something like that? 287. Right. Yeah. It, it was a split level with a one car garage, okay, off of uh, 39 by West Hanover Township by mm -hmm. Sioka Honda. So two blocks away, I mean, two streets away in the same neighborhood, I put a house, oh, I represented the buyer and Dave D. Giovanello represented the seller. He listed it at 360. Beautiful home, um, but it had a two-car garage, so a little bigger. Tons of updates. Right, and and it had updates, but uh, he listed at three sixty. He couldn't get a single showing on this thing. I snuck in, got it for three forty-five, so even under asking with no competition and a sale and settlement contingency. And Kong, you had you had a a good weekend, right? Tell us about your October and how not only that deal, but you had like three deals that were all in a chain with that, right? Right. That And and that was a domino too. So it just, when you price it high, you put yourself in the situation that you're going to have to concede a lot of things. And, and we're talking domino deals, uh, weaker finance, more inspections, stuff like that. Whereas if you price it right, then let the competition build up. Um, this past weekend, I did sell, well, the last week I sold three buyer deals. And I can tell you all three were beautiful homes, priced too high, and we got them for either at or under asking price. Good, good. And, and just to get an idea, what price ranges they were in? Um, the one... I mentioned was 345 listed at 360. Another one was uh, right around that 180 range. And then another one um, that I'd sold was off of Lingle Sound Road, that new Blue Ridge neighborhood where the golf course used to sit. Uh -huh. There's a 55 plus neighborhood and Ryan Holmes is building a ton of them. And they actually have probably 25 to 30 pending right now. And my buyer could have waited till May and get one for $405,000, but they opted to buy the former model, which the seller, somebody bought it and rented it back to Ryan for two years as their model home. So Ryan didn't have to pay a mortgage on it. They just had to pay rent. So Ryan left that model and these folks never even moved in. So it's still a brand new house technically, put it up for sale at, I think it was 390, 390. And we went in and what did we ask? 370. And they took it. So they got a brand new house, 30 grand, 35 grand under what a new build would build for, because these sellers were like, we just want out of there. We, we know it's going to get bad. Um, there's too much inventory. So they just sold it to us. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Joe Schutz, uh, any wins that you'd like to tell us about that's been happening in your life with real estate? Uh, well, I, the, the last uh, tail, the tail end of the, the summer was real strong for me. I'm, right now, I'm just kind of trying to build for next year, um, you know, getting ramping up for client appreciation, Thanksgiving pies, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm still looking to, I have, I still have some uh, buyers out there and some potential sellers who will sell if they find something, but you know, we'll, we'll, we shall see. Um, but really what I'm trying to do is uh, uh, ramp up for next year. I've got my calendars. I got to get out. I got to get my, uh, um, my doing my pie party again and just do those kind of things to, put me in, in front of 
my clients mind when they think of, of uh, you know, anybody that wants to list or sell um, or buy. I am um, also just going through my database and asking anybody who have had a nice, you know, we've had, you know, almost, almost all my deals have been positive asking for Google reviews. And um, so I can, I will well, my Google business page so I can get five-star reviews um, from, from past clients. And that's a good way to segue into like, Oh, by the way, do you know anybody who wants to list or sell? So that's kind of one of some of the stuff I've been doing. Well, congratulations on a great year. And uh, the pie thing is definitely a good, um, <clears throat> a good thing to do. What Joe does every year is at Thanksgiving, he gives away pies to his past clients and centers of influence. And Joe, you get them from Costco, don't you? That's correct. Yeah, they're pumpkin pies, these ridiculously large pumpkin pies for Huge. like, <laughs> like $6.99. So I get like, you get like a hundred pies and everybody is just amazed at how big they are and yep. happy to have them. Yep. Well, congratulations again. And, uh, you know, for those that are looking for something to do to, for their past clients and centers of influence, Thanksgiving's a month away, literally. And, uh, that would be a great thing to do. So congratulations again, Poppy, you're back on now. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, my main thing today is <clears throat> knowledge is power. I am so proud of this company. Uh, we've got Kong on contracts and training and, <clears throat> and Brooks on our Tuesday calls. We have the power. We absolutely give it out. If you listen and you train with us, you can't help but succeed in this market skills are going to be everything. If you're skillful in answering objections, you're going to do great. If you're skillful in pricing, you're going to do great. These are the things that we want to share and teach you all. Everybody's good, but you can always be a little bit better. And we learn from the pros and we teach from the pros. So I would suggest you get in on some of these calls and, and learn, 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 because it's going to be, get back to you tenfold when you go out and you address a client that needs help. So that's my win for the day, that this company is moving in the right direction with these kind of programs. Okie doke. Well, Brooks, anything else you want to talk about to finish the call up? Um, just one thing I wanted to bring up, and I wrote down as Joe was talking about the pies, it reminded me we're going to do again this year photos with Santa. So this is something similar to that, that you can reach out um, to your clients, centers of influence and tell them about and invite them here to the office. And we're going to do, you know, a free photo with Santa night um you know that's open to all our agents here at the company so definitely would december 11th we're gonna have that so uh keep that in mind jot that down and um start telling your people about it and then just a, a personal win for me i got this remarkable tablet here um last week and I'm in love with this thing. If you take notes or you do any type of daily planning or anything like that, it's a pretty decent investment. They're a little salty, um, but it's amazing. It's almost like writing on a sheet of paper and you can send this straight to your computer, Google Drive, um, whatever you know, syst cloud system that you use for storage, and then you have it everywhere. It's uh, it's a pretty cool tool that I'm super excited about. Just wanted to tell you guys about it in case you wanted to look into it. Brooke, send that link out. I, I saw it on my Facebook. It followed me for like several months. I didn't buy it, so it unfollowed me. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll send it out. Um, you know, again, they're a little salty, but- um, So Brooke, tell, tell them, like we were in a meeting the other night, Thursday night, and you sat there and took all the notes at this meeting. 
Yeah. And then while you were at the meeting, you push a few buttons and all of a sudden I have it in my email. Yeah. So it's connected, you know, to Wi-Fi. So you're able to email straight out of there or push it to whatever cloud storage that you guys have. Um, it's a great way to stay organized and then be able to keep these notes digitally forever, which I find super useful. So it's, cool. I'll, I'll definitely send that out um, to everybody in case you guys want to look into it. All right. Sounds good. Thank Go ahead, Bobby. Bobby. Brooks, don't you think it would be a good idea if the company provided all the agents with that tool? <laughs> we'll have to ask Santa. We'll have to ask him on December 11th. We'll all tell him what we want. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you all getting on the call today and participating with the winds of the day. And, uh, you know, um, we will talk to you again next week. Have a great week. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye. See you guys.